Okay, so I've been walking around with this guy in my pocket for the past couple of days, exclusively the LG G4, and I really wanted to give it a shot. You know, before it came out and before the Galaxy S6 came out, I wanted this to be the phone that I had this year. I loved the small bezels of the LG G3. Um, it made the 5.5 inch screen seem really, really small. Um, and as you can see, I customized it totally the way I want, including I got a custom back plate because Verizon didn't have this color, so I ordered this from Amazon. I did everything I, I could do to really want to like this phone, and you can probably see where I'm going. But before I go there, I will point out some good things. The camera on this phone is amazing. I think it's better than the Galaxy S6. It's incredible. I take clear shots no matter what I do. Um, I don't know if that's the laser focus thing in addition to OIS or whatever, but it's fantastic and I love it. The screen is also really good. It's actually not really very good in direct sunlight. It's very, very dark. Um, when, I'm on, when I'm in my car and I'm trying to navigate, it's very dark. And also, and a lot of people don't like this, I just really don't like the on-screen keyboards, or the on-screen on -screen keys as much. I find myself hiding them in different apps, um, which is a setting here, but I don't wanna have to do that. It's nice to just have the home key where I don't have to worry about that. So now, you know, if I have to navigate, I just do that. So, I, I, you know, and then there's this thing which helps you pull that down because the phone's rather big. But I actually felt this phone felt bigger and thicker and longer, and I think it is, than the LG G3 of last year. Um, it, the processor wise, you know, it, it ran really actually kind of hot, especially up here. If I was on a call for a while, like really hot up here. Um, I know it's the 808, so it's not supposed to overheat, and the Samsung has memory leak issues, and it too runs hot. But uh, I gotta say, I, I gotta go back to my Galaxy S6 after using this, because um, it seems faster overall. The screen is just much better. It's much clearer and brighter in every situation that I want. I think the auto brightness thing works much, much better on this. This seems really wonky, actually. Um, you know, the battery life leaves a lot to be desired on the Galaxy S6, um, but this thing is just so thick. It's like a banana. It feels cheap in your hand. The screen is not as good, and the performance is not quite as quick. Um, and actually, oh, the funniest part is I found myself missing the fingerprint scanner. It's so easy to secure this thing to myself, right? So if I turn the screen off, I turn it back on and I want to go in, all I do is that and I'm unlocked. Here, if I do the same thing, I've got to put in a code, you know, I can knock the screen on, which is something that's kind of fun. And then, well, okay, after five seconds, I have to put in a code. Anyway, it's just more cumbersome. I also agree with a lot of the tech bloggers that it's annoying the way they did this with the notifications pre-expanded because I can't actually use two fingers to expand on notifications. You got to flick up once, well, when you have a notification, and then do it. It's just an extra step. So if this had come out last year, or if this phone didn't exist, I would definitely be talking about the LG G4, but it didn't, and this does, and I'm going back to my Galaxy S6.